What's up everybody, it's your boy Sean Gill CPA coming back at you with another video. Today, we're gonna talk about how to do your taxes if you receive a 1099 instead of a W-2. Let's get into it real quick. Let's just dive straight in, you guys know my style. So, this is something I think a lot of people who go from being a W-2 employee to a 1099 contractor, their first year, they're kind of confused about the tax situation. You know, what do you do now? I don't, I don't just get a form from my employer with everything. This is different. So let's just take a, a let's zoom out and think about the process from a whole. Your actual tax, the, the tax guide, right? Like your tax kind of timeline process flow hasn't changed. Only thing that's changed is some of the inputs. Some of those inputs being how you receive your income reporting, right? You're still making money. Normally you would get a W-2 that says, this is how much salary or total money you made. Here's how much was withheld and given to the IRS. Here's how much was given to the state. Here's how much you contributed to your um, IRA or 401k plan. Here's how much you spent on health insurance. Here's your Medicare, blah, 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 right? All that's happening now that you're a 1099 contractor is that form, your W-2 is replaced with a 1099 NEC, that stands for non-employee compensation. They used to be called 1099 MISCs, but those are basically just consider those gone and think about them now as 1099 NECs. Same concept, same thing, they just renamed it, kind of redesigned the form a little bit. That's really the first of all, the main change is how you're receiving your income reporting. And if you get other 1099s, which you could be a W-2 employee and get other 1099s, for example, 1099 int, div, comp, you know, interest, dividends, composite. If you receive those, those are essentially the same thing as NEC. They're just reporting income in a different manner specific to a certain thing. For example, a 1099 int is reporting interest income, most likely from your bank. If you made over $10 in interest, 1099 div is reporting dividend income. If you have a brokerage account, let's say with like Wells Fargo or Fidelity, Robinhood, Charles Schwab, you made some money, it's just reporting that, right? So your tax process and structure has stayed the same. It's just how you're getting the data is different. You're still, you know, you can itemize your deductions or you could take the standard deduction. You're eligible for certain credits, um, you know, charitable contributions, things of that nature, social security benefits, IRAs, investing, all that stuff is still the same. That process of your tax return is the exact same. Just your income section, think about that has changed. That's it. That's really the only key difference. Now we could make a whole nother video and go into the, the details of, hey, I'm a 1099 contractor. Should I set up my own company, my own LLC, my own business, and you know, start taking some business expenses, some gas and mileage for my car, some travel and advertising website expenses, such and such. That's a whole different conversation. You can do that, but at the core, your tax process looks the same. Only thing that's shifted is your source of income and how it's reported. So if you received, let's say, a handful of 1099s, 1099 NECs saying, you know, you did work for this company, you did work for that company, you can put those the same way you, you would normally enter your W-2s, um, whether you're doing it on like TurboTax or, H, you know, giving it to somebody at H&R Block, however you do your taxes. Free Tax USA is another good resource. Where you would normally enter your W-2, you just enter your 1099 information. That's it. Everything else is the same, same calculations apply, eligible for most of the same deductions, if not more. Um, and it may benefit you to start looking into whether you should start a business to maximize your deductions and start taking certain things that you weren't able to take as a W-2 employee. Like I said, that's a whole nother video, a whole nother conversation. I'm actually gonna make that video. This is a good idea. I'm gonna make that video. But that's the main difference of how you do your taxes with the W-2 versus 1099. You just report your income differently or the income is reported the same way, it's reported to you differently. So, and there's no tax withheld for you, you know, that's the other major thing. If you're a 1099 employee or a contractor, 
tax has not been withheld for you. So you're going to most likely 99% of the time, you're going to owe tax at the end of the year, or you're going to be eligible to make estimated payments. Again, that's a whole different video. I'll touch on that in the future. Check my links is probably out by the time you see this, or maybe, you know, whenever you're seeing this, but those are the differences. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me or need my help, to set up your, maybe your business or find out what those deductions are that could help you maximize your or lower your tax liability. Hit me up. All my content information is in the description box. You can hit up my company, Neutron Tax. We can set up an appointment and see what we can figure out for you. I answer all my comments on my videos. Please give this a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Appreciate all the engagement. It helps my channel grow and I will catch you in the next one. Again, my name is Sean Gill CPA. Peace.